हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर एयर फॉर सम प्रैक्टिकल एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ नंपाई नाउ लेट मी स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो व्हिच आई हैव मेड फॉर यू वी विल हैव अ लाइव डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन नाउ एज यू कैन सी स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट लाइन आई हैव गिव ऑन द कमेंट्स दैट वी आर क्रिएटिंग द एरेज यूजिंग द लिस्ट वॉट वी आर डूइंग हेयर वी आर क्रिएटिंग एरेज यूजिंग लिस्ट as 1d array and two dimensional array our first thing is first we have to import the package called numpy that is numerical python as we have discussed then i have prepared a list li is equal to there are four elements in the list 1 2 3 4 then i have prepared another list which is 4 5 6 4 5 7 9 then i have taken an array 1 in which i have written np dot array and taken a list again taken another list so in the output when i will print it you can see it is 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 4 5 7 9 9 so in this way you can create an array using the list now the next thing is what we have to do is creating the arrays using existing data suppose i have taken array one as ip computer science and other one is ip computer science chemistry and physics so i have printed them the answer will be ip computer science as you can uh, see in the shell programming part now the one thing you remember about the braces small braces should be small big braces should be big otherwise you will encounter an error the number of elements in one braces should be equal to the number of elements in the other now here we have a look at the arrange function and the lin space function arrange function what i have done end number is excluded i already told you that end number is excluded so it will be up to 9 and if i will give comma 2 it means third digit is the step it means it will jump 1 plus 2 it will be 3 it then 5 then 7 then 9 10 is excluded now in lin space same thing is there and is included uh, i have taken this float so 1 dot 2 dot so on up to 10 dot now i have taken comma 5 at the end so i am changing the sequence it will randomly pick any five values fr from among 1 to 10 and present is to us now if you want a matrix or an array of all the zeros of 1d array then we will use the function zeros and ones np dot zeros in braces i have written 5 that's the size of an array it means five zeros will be there now the second line states that i have written 3 comma 2 data type is in d type stands for data type data type is int so it means it will be an array of 0000003 rows and two columns three rows and two columns now if you want to print all the ones it will be np dot ones five again the number of rows the number of columns and data type i have mentioned i think i am very much clear in this practical aspect we will discuss further more now using this zeros and ones you can create any number of arrays you can multiply it now i will take some basic operations on one dimensional array such as sum mean median so what i have to do i have to use a function called np dot sum in braces i will write the name of the array array 1 now print i have printed array 3 so answer will be 5 it will add all the elements of an array now to find out the mean same it will find out the mean of the all the elements in an array now what about the median it will find out the middle value like 2 plus 3 by 2 is 2.5 so it will be 2.5 i am repeating sum means sum of elements so 2 or 3 are elements so 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 uh, mean 2 plus 3 by 2 sum of all observations divided by number of observations median is the middle value so it will be 2 plus 3 by 2 now here another look how you can join you how you can perform join on arrays we can use concatenate function for performing the same function we can use concatenate c o n c a t e n a t e remember my words don't concat it is concatenate 
now what i have to do i have to take a variable in which i will store numpy dot concatenate array one comma array two y is equal to now i have used another um, keyword here called another method reshape now re what reshape will do there are eight elements called numpy students my school is completed today we are going to start with the first topic of python that is called numpy as discussed earlier what do you mean by numpy numpy stands for numerical python that's it there is no affix in the full form it is numerical python now numerical python it deals with the arrays and matrices and complex mathematical formulas so what is numpy numpy is the python python which deals with certain arrays and matrices complex math formulas now we have to study arrays what is an array i can say array is homogeneous group of items now what do you mean by the term homogeneous homogeneous means same type it means that array can be considered as a collection of data of same type like if we started inserting numeric types it should be numeric and we if we started inserting text or string type then it should be a string next thing there are two things which should be kept in mind while doing the array number one is elements elements are the data which are which lies inside an array now number two is index now this plays a very important role by studying uh, numpy or arrays because index what do you mean by index index is the memory location of stored elements what is index index is the memory location of stored elements now index can be positive or can be negative i am repeating index can be positive or negative depending on the path you are traversing it if you are traversing suppose I have written here Shibul R I S H I K U L. If I start traversing it from left to right, then it should be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember, index positive index always start from zero. Zero is the first index which we have to take. So while traversing from left to right, it should be zero, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and vice versa. When we are traversing it from right to left, indexing becomes negative. It should be minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight. I think I should be very clear in indexing. It should be minus when right to left, and it should be positive when left to right. Now my second thing is array. We have to discuss two kinds of arrays. Number one, one-dimensional array, and the other one is multi-dimensional array. I think the board is sophisticated, so I will just rub it off. We will discuss about two types of arrays and then traversal their various operations. Now, number one is. one dimensional array one dimensional array means it is having only a single row like we can write it as array and here we should do the size now what do we mean by size now here size means the number of elements in a particular array here size means the number of elements in a particular array now discussing about one d array we can create one dimensional array using two methods there are two 
methods through which we can create one dimensional array first method is using lists and the second method is using existing data now first i want to discuss about using list i think i am very much clear what i am telling you if any doubt you can ping me right now using list number 1 using list write in bold numpy as np now here you can take as ad you can take as bc you can take as std i have taken the license as npy short form of numpy now i created a list l i is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 now i want to convert this list to my array so i will take an array a double r is equal to numpy dot array small braces remember one thing here we always have small braces no big braces you should write l i the name of the list then print a r r you will get your output as one two three this is the method using the list now the next method is now the next method is without using the list in that if i will not use the list i will use existing data i will use existing data now the first thing is i will remove this thing from here and in that thing i will put a small brace then i will put a big brace i will write 1 comma 2 comma 3 it will give the same output as previous now we have discussed two methods for creating a one d array using list and using existing data now there are some also other methods which are used there are some other methods which are used for the same purpose that is for creating a one dimensional or two dimensional array let me throw some light on that first method i want to discuss is arrange look at this i am writing it is not a double r it is a r i am repeating it is not a r r it is a r a n g e arrange function it is used to create an array from a range it is used to create an array from a range now i will write the coding for that array function import the same line we have to take import numpy as my favorite word and b now i am import numpy as and b then you can write arr is equal to np dot arrange remember again the spelling for arrange is a r a n g e the spelling for arrange is a r a n g e if you will write in any ide of python a double r it will give an error it will be absolutely wrong now here you have to give the starting value say i have given one comma then you have to give the last value that's it you have to give the start value and you have to give the end value now the thing is that end value is excluded from the range it means i have taken an array of 10 elements which will get from 1 to 10 now the number of the arrays that will uh, if i will print print ARR. Now what I will, what output I will get? I will get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, not ten. It will exclude the last digit you have written. Now you must be thinking that I am putting float values in here. One dot, two dot, three dot, five dot, six dot, so on. by default if we don't take any data type in any of the functions it will be considered as float by default 
If we don't have this kind of things, we will have no data types, then we have to play slow data type. By default, our Python interpreter assumes it has, ID assumes that slow type. Now, the next function is link space. Link space. It is uh, of the same function as used to create array from a range. Now my question is what I used to ask again and again from my students and then means that if we have to do same work from a range in this space, then there might be a difference between both the terms between a range and this space. Now let us suppose that I will just compare here. The first line will be same. ARR is equal to I will write. Now I will write ARR is equal to NP dot list space. I will write 1, 10, 10. Now this is my start position. This is my end position. And this is the number of gaps between two numbers. I will just give the output of it. Output will be same 1 dot, 2 dot, 3 dot, 4 dot, 5 dot, 6 dot. I will take here and no space. So I will take 5. 5. Now the thing is that what this 10 means here? What this 10 means? 10 means there should be a gap of 0.10 between the two numbers like 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 up to 1.9 then here comes 2.0, 2.0 again, again, if I will write here something else if I will write here 5 if I will write here 5 then it should be 1, 1.5, 2.5, 3.5 so the maximum of 5 so students, I think I am much clear about arrangement in this space here Right? Now, coming back, now coming to the two-dimensional array. Now, coming to two-dimensional array. Coming to two-dimensional array. What is a two-dimensional array? In general words, I used to say that train the array which is having rows and columns is known as two-dimensional array or multi-dimensional array. Now, in two-dimensional array, there should there is a pattern we have to follow. Indexing is same, the elements are same. We have to start from zero. We have to go to minus one from right to left. Now, in two-dimensional array, how to create two-dimensional array? There are uh, two methods using lists, using lists, and Using existing data, same things. Now using this, what we have to do? Import. This is very easy as you have done uh, on the array. Now you have to define two lists. Li is equal to. Suppose I will take one, two, three. I will take it as now. I will take L three, four, five. These are big braces, not small ones. These are big braces. So, I have to make a 2D array, ARR is equal to NP dot array braces L, LI comma L. Now when I will print ARR, my output will be Now, this will become my first row and this will become my second row The output will be 1, 2, 3 is and when we have to create using existing data, what, what changes we will have? This thing will come here, and this thing will come here, output will be the same. Right? So, what do you mean existing data? You have put it here, you have put this list here, instead of writing names, we have provided this. So, it is ARR is equal to NP dot Right? Now, if you want to add, if you want to add two arrays, what will you do? 
if you want to add two arrays, what will you do? We will have, sorry it is not working, we will have add function here. What we will have? Add function here. Now how you would write? np dot add arr1 comma arr2. It will add row by row. It means if I am having this, my answer will be 1 plus 3, 4, 2 plus 4, 6, 3 plus 5, 8. My answer will be this. Same way you can apply subtract, you can apply mean, you can apply median, you can apply multiply. So students, that's it from my side today. Now NumPy will continue with the practical session tomorrow. Now your assignment will be, uh, you will be provided, you have to write in your notebooks or anywhere you want that what are 1D arrays, what are 2D arrays, what do you mean by NumPy, a small code to represent zeros and ones in a NumPy. Four questions I am telling you, first one, 1D array, second one, two-dimensional array, third one, what do you mean by NumPy, fourth one, how do we create zeros and ones directly in NumPy array. Thank you very much students, thank you everyone, stay healthy, stay home, stay safe, thank you. What do you think you have in the